delighted to welcome you all to the capital and to the International Society for Applied Ethology, Animal Welfare Congress in India 2023. I am Anna Krishan and she is my co-host. This workshop is aimed at supporting ISAE and India in strengthening its regulatory system in animal welfare, antimicrobial resistance and veterinary pathogenomics. And it's a follow to the previous workshop held in CSR IJB Delhi in the year 2018 on animal welfare and behavior respectively. This event is witnessing a high level participation from students, veterinary doctors, researchers, other departments working in the area of animal welfare, WHO, USID, NGOs and all relevant stakeholders across the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin by welcoming our Asian dignitaries who have joined us here. For that, I invite Dr. Vijay Bal Singh to kindly take over the podium. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, before we start, let's welcome all of our dignitaries who have come here all the time. And I request Aina Krishna to formally welcome Director Sir, Dr. Shaweet Mathiji, CSI Raji, please a big round of applause for Sir. <laughs> sir, it's very strict to time, so we have to start exact on the time. Now I request uh, Priyanka to please uh, uh, Dr. Parveen Malik, uh, uh, CEO Agri Innovate, he was the previously Animal Assembly Commissioner, now he's heading Agri Innovation, which is going to the market. Now I request again the Aina Krishna to please welcome Dr. K. V. Patel, Chief Veterinary Officer of ILBS and also a Council Member from our ELEC. I request Priyanka to welcome Dr. Mohan G. H. He is the Scientific Officer of National Center for Biological Science. Sir is regularly holding the conference seminar especially for veterinarian to train them. I request Ayana to welcome Dr. Mohite. He is working with the present in Brooks, India and a renowned veterinarian working on the field of animal welfare. So with these words, I hand over again to Ayana to start the proceedings. Once again, thanking everyone for making it possible. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to welcome our director, CSR IGRB, Dr. Savik Mehti, to kindly come forward to give welcome remarks for the opening ceremony. Good morning, everybody. So, for my day, I welcome all the technicians, those who are sitting in the front rows, all the participants from different parts of our country. And uh, it's really my pleasure to welcome all of you to Institute of Genomics and Integrated Biology. From the name, you do understand that we are heavily involved in genomics research that matter mainly wellness genomics as well as disease genomics of humans. But this workshop is specifically something else than what we do in, in a regular basis. So I am happy that you know uh, we are basically extending beyond our own uh, research area, which basically Vijayapal is taking care of. It is not the first time he is organizing; it is the second time. But similar kind of workshop is you know is happening in our institute at regular basis, and the topic. Today's workshop is mainly uh, on the welfare of animals is very important. Not only that, the two other topics which are going to be covered under this workshop is basically the AMR for animals as well as you know pathogenomics for animals. All are very important topic to understand depth of the problem. And if we understand depth of the problem, then we will come out with the solution. And as you know that we live with, you know, with different type of animals along with us and their wellness is basically is our wellness, 
unless until they are not you know pathogen free they are not healthy uh, we are not as a society are not healthy so it is not that when we are talking about human uh, you know pathology or human disease that doesn't mean that we can ignore uh, the animal pathogens or animal uh, you know welfare so in that way it is very important topic uh, it is a kind of integrative topic which all of us should you know give attention and whatever the way we can contribute we need to contribute with that i really hand first vijay to uh, organize such kind of you know uh, useful event for all of us those who are participate definitely they will benefit it it is also good for the institute that some kind of awareness will be propagated to the institute we have many phd student okay, those who will be benefited out of it so with this again i formally welcome you i wish uh, the whole day will be a fruitful day uh, on a uh, different scientific topic thank you very much thank you sir thank you for joining us all today may i move on i'd like to invite dr vijay pal singh to give the introduction to the program good morning everyone and i greet again thanks dr shovik mehta sir for uh, allowing to do and continue this workshop and uh, as in igib people call if you want to be means people call by your growing younger day by day if you want to be younger you be in igib because this is such a natural dynamic environment you have so much of energy all positive energy you gain here being in igib and you are always independent to carry out your activities thank you very much so we met this sir so we met this sir is basically a chemist but uh, he knows a lot about biology and biology is basically responsible for translation of the concept that you have into the reality and this uh, event is basically sponsored by isa isa stand for international society for applied ethology whose i am a regional secretary and they are always very generous there is no kinds of reserve fund etc they are always ready to give us to conduct such programs and we want to keep this workshop as less formal as possible maximum science and talk and whatever we could do out of this most of you are young veterinarian who have and we have big big shot also ceo of agrinovate proper parman milik is also with us who will share his ideas how to do innovative work and also this will be action oriented what do i mean by action oriented so we will having a very important uh, this workshop on veterinary pathogenomics led by dr vinod sakaria who is doing he did a great work in lsd genomics and those of you who is to collaborate and work and learn will be also be welcome in future so to set the future collaboration we will be having this veterinary pathogenomics another we will have a uh, uh, this um, workshop on amr anti microbial resistance you may be knowing that we lot of antibiotic is being used in animal for treatment and for prevention and they end up in our food so we did a small survey and study where we found that these antibiotics are coming into the food also so we will know which antibiotic to use which is not to be used because there is no risk so we'll have our own group of the people who will be working on this and of course we will send whatever deliberation will happen we will send in the form of minutes of meeting to the ministry so that they can implement so we have participants here and speakers from who us aid ndri karnal agri innovate nation brainser center and cbs ilvs and world animal protective protection organization though registration is 263 and confirmation is also there but because everybody in delhi always said we, we are stuck in traffic so they will be turning up around 11 o'clock so we have we are expecting lot many other people and this is also being made youtube live so in case if you are not able to see now you can see them later on and also means whatever the things that we are using and giving you will be all usable nothing we will give you which will harm the environment and we will make sure that whatever you eat you eat right eat right eat local eat seasonal and also eat vegetarian and we are not also providing all kind of this uh, things water bottle everything if you are uh, thirsty go and take the water from the nearby place so we will take care that these such uh, things which we have learned are also we are doing in a sustainable way 
So with these words, I welcome you all, and you will be here. With the starting time is 9 a.m. Uh, sorry, 10 a.m. and probably we will end up uh, around 6 by giving all this workshop together. If you have any issue, you are please uh, welcome, and you can always um, contact me. The idea is this: if you want to set any collaboration, any question, anything else in IGIB, feel free. Because that is our main purpose to bring the young people here who are doing animal welfare work. Because many of the medicoes are doing the conference and seminar of developing Indian physician scientists. So I thought in the similar line, the developing Indian veterinarian scientist. So those of you who are feeling that yes, we could do something in this line, we will do it, and we have to be sure and don't hesitate. You are always free to ask anything and also interact with the. Uh, scientists who are going to come. I think you, Dr. Sisidhar. So we have Dr. Sasidhar also, director from IGNU. Welcome, sir. Priyanka, can you please well, welcome, sir, with the bouquet of flowers? Sir is running the most popular course on postgraduate diploma on animal welfare from IGNU. Welcome, sir. <laughs> where I have also written the two module, and where I am also a participant in that uh, postgraduate diploma. He will be also speaking on how can we take further veterinary education activities which can be beneficial for those people who cannot attend in person. So I have tried my best to select those resource person who can come and, and reach us. I think with these words I am and my this uh, means welcome address and I think we can now pause for tea break or group photograph first. Yeah, yeah please. Thank you sir. It's time for a day break outside the seminar hall near the art area. Requesting everyone, please be back at 10.55 so that we can start our first session on time. Before we disperse, I request everyone, dignitaries and all of you to kindly join outside for a group photograph. Thank you. Come outside, you take group picture and then you have the Thank you for I saw your name. Come, please. 